Hey guys, how's it going? Jeff Seal here. I'm about to let you all in on an old New York City tradition. It's a little something called Punk Christmas. What is Punk Christmas? Good question. Thanks for asking, man. Punk Christmas is that magical time of the year when New York City's colleges are out for the summer and students throw out tons of perfectly good shit. We're gonna talk to the students who throw this perfectly good shit out and the people who pick this shit up, dust it off, and take it home. Come with me. First stop, NYU. My the average college student creates 640 pounds of solid waste each year. New York City produces two times more trash than any other city in the world. Jesus Christ, what the crap, New York? Oh, you want it? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Just talked to a guy. He, uh, he said that this is where most of the stuff is being thrown out, but he also said that there's a donation bin on the fourth floor. So maybe let's try and see if someone can sign us in. We'll hide the camera go on the fourth floor, see what we can find. But first, let's see what we have here. Yeah, there's a lot of these things. What's the best thing you've seen that someone has thrown away? Any good, uh, like Margo? fridges. What? Yeah. The refrigerators, I've seen TVs, some nice clothes. Where, where do they put it? They put it in the fourth floor. That's where we need to get to. Can you sign us in? I can't. People have basically thrown away everything they own. Uh, it's ridiculous at this point. And like the, the homeless people, it's a gold mine. They come in here and it's like, it's like Christmas morning. More like punk Christmas morning, the fourth floor the next morning. Obviously you don't have any footage for that, so you can't really do a balanced story here. I do actually have footage of... How did you obtain that footage? I just went in and filmed it. You're not a student so. here though. Uh, no, I'm not. So that would be obtained illegally, so that was trespassing. Sure, well, I mean, the, the other right. footage so that I... It's probably a matter for the police. I would okay. Say. 1,500 thread count. Police can't do anything. There's no evidence. Now back to the previous night. Let's hop on in. This is how you literally dumpster dive. You got damn right I am. <laughs> this is kind of a cool blanket. Ooh, magazine. Americans comprise about 5% of the world's population, but annually produce 27% of the world's garbage. Plus, we just elected a flaming bag of garbage for president. Have you seen any good stuff being thrown out? My friend just found like a thousand dollar camera just what? in a trash can. What? What's some of the stuff you've seen? Uh, what's some of the stuff you've seen people throwing out? A really beautiful, like, mink coat that a homeless person, uh, or at least I assume a homeless person with their dog. Lots of art projects, so those are dangerous. Be careful about walking on those inside the dumpster. We found a bunch of art stuff, and I thought it was, I understood why it was in the garbage. It sounds like they, they spent more time on the body, and then like, yeah, that's her face, nose, eyes, ears. Good. There's a couple of things already that we that I've seen in here. And we're this gonna is use actually it. our second day because we were here yesterday and we found so much that we couldn't physically carry it back on the subway. If we could salvage as much as possible and recycle mm -hmm. and utilize it, it, it's good. I think we're doing a good thing. Some yeah. of the stuff that we find is still new. Right. Yeah. Still and in we this pass package. it down. We pass yeah. it to friends and family. We think that Mike can use it. We'll pass it down. So it's extending a life. Right. You need a tripod? Oh shit. Stuyvesant Park dorms, day two. What's the best stuff you ever found here? Oh, uh, phone, laptop, and camera. Laptop and cameras? Yeah. Good camera. Wow. Very expensive. You want this? Yeah. Here you go. Great. You're welcome. Yeah, see you later. All right. Let it go. Okay, thanks, man. You guys donate most of the clothing and the household stuff to Goodwill. That's right. There was a lot of stuff that was still thrown out. It's a quick turnaround from completing their finals and moving out, and so if they're choosing mm -hmm. not to take advantage of that, I, I, I would hope to think it's just simply out of being so busy, maybe not understanding what's available. I'm, I'm not right. quite sure. Hello, Paul. Day two. A lot of people throw out drugs. That's like a number one thing because kids are getting on planes. Oh. So or they like, throw away the drugs. In the dumpster. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is there a donation pile inside there? There is, yeah, which is crazy because we sent out emails about it yeah. and tell people about it, but they still just prefer to throw everything in the dumpster. There's a person throwing out a microwave right now. Oh, yeah. Within your heart. Well, there you have it. An American punk Christmas story. A classic tale of two cities. Those with too much and those with not enough. And a Jew with a camera who filmed the whole goddamn thing. So Merry Punk Christmas to all and to all a good night. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it smells like barf. Ugh. <laughs>